Hey guys, what's going on? It's Twintuitive717. I am back with another video. I hope you guys are doing incredibly well and I just wanted to start off by thanking you so much for your support on my channel. I'm gonna actually um, do a three card reading here using the Tarot of Sexual Magic. So I'm gonna shuffle these, just give them a little bit of a mixing up here. And what I'll do is a three card reading based on your connection as it is right now what the best course of action for you to take is as well as the projected outcome now the outcome is not something that you have to be on the lookout for or it's something that's certain that will happen it's just something of a possibility and somewhat of an invitation something for you to ponder before you act on something okay so i'll go ahead and take what's at the top of the deck just right in the middle here and then what's at the very bottom all right so for the first card here so the situation as it is the moon card right now i feel like those of you who resonate with this card give your connection time and space because there are certainly things that are needing time to come out of the dark like especially maybe with your divine masculine or divine feminine if they're in the ones that are in a partnership you know truthful feelings have to come out about how you both feel about each other and that's why i say divine masculine or divine feminine because sometimes you know like we might say it's one or the other that's always uh, unavailable i don't necessarily resonate with that truth i feel like you know both twins equally just like i could be a female with a masculine charge um you know, I feel like both of them are needing to take accountability in terms of bringing this connection together. And for those of you who are in separation right now, I feel like the moon card shares a special message for you guys to remain optimistic about your journey with each other. Because, you know, what I get is when you guys do think about coming together, a lot of the times what delays your courage to step forward with each other is like facing your worst fears, right? For many of you, that's living a completely different life than what you're living now. It's it's having to answer to family and friends. It's having to face the embarrassment and the shame of, you know, being with someone else's partner and having them divorce their partner. And, you know, people are going to point fingers. Or, you know, what about the well-being of others? And, you know, you're constantly going to be faced with, you know, this... You're, you're going to be faced with this conundrum of what it is you should do versus what it is other people would like you to do so you know the best message that i can give here is just you know have courage and face your fears the best way to go after what it is you want oftentimes doesn't come without sacrifice it doesn't come without bruising your knees 20 times and getting back up and continuing to go forward because the thing i get is that this feeling of being bored or having this mundane approach to living out the rest of your life, you know, that choice that you're having to make, it is sacrifice and there's no right or wrong answer here. You know, to, should I continue on in my marriage or should I be with my twin flame? Well, what do you want? What do you want to do? Do you want to take the risk? Are you prepared? Do you, are you willing to face the things that you need to do in order to become independent, become a whole parent for your child, have a healthy, beautiful connection with your ex because you both need to have equal efforts to raise your children despite the changes between you two? You know, are you ready to shift the traditional approach to divorce, to separation, to, you know, leaving your country and going to live with some one else in their country and not having your family and friends around or vice versa do you know what i mean having someone come to your country and leave everything behind for you like are we willing to really face those responsibilities and that's why i get that they're both holding up the mirror image here because they both know like whatever they're going through in their lives right now it's somehow mirroring what the other is doing you know like a lot of you for example who are guided to get healthy like you're like you know what like you know i'm gonna stop worrying about what my counterpart is doing and i'm gonna focus on myself and when you guys focus on yourselves 
you start realizing you want to give up old habits like you know maybe drinking smoking you want to exercise more you know and you find yourself doing this um you might see that your twin is also doing this in their life as well or you might all of a sudden get the urge to really not be with any other partner except your twin and if later on you decide otherwise that's cool but for right now you just want to be alone you might see that your twin is also feeling that same energy as well so that's why like we're constantly having to hear readers say it's about the self-love it's about inner work it's about facing the shadows yeah like this oh sorry guys i'm like holding it upside down <laughs> yeah this journey is definitely about you know facing our fears and defying uh, defying the language that says you know love is uh this love is impossible we we as twin flames have to come up with the language the new language that says this love is possible this love doesn't destruct this love builds it builds new foundations but in order for that to happen both twins need to experience the mirror effect you know going within being alone facing their problems on their own like in their own lives and taking accountability for it the right way with integrity and honesty and then come together okay so yeah, that's the situation as it is. That's what's up. Okay, so let's go ahead and dig into the best course of action. Well, you get the world card here. So I feel like the world card is coming up because time and time again, Twin Flames are reminded that, you know, this love is not an accident. It's not meant to destroy you. Again, it is meant to fulfill you you know it's it's you're meant to experience a, an abundant relationship and your biggest fear sometimes you know when it comes to your twin is believing that something good like this has happened to you and the universe is trying to tell you that the reason you're having such a hard time believing it or surrendering to what it is you want in every way is because you need to love yourself more you need to look back on the past and forgive everybody who ever made you feel like you weren't important in the world you know now the universe has surprised you with everything you could have <laughs> ever wanted in this entire world so that's the best reason to go back and do the shadow work and heal and uh you know face it because it's okay now right you have your twin on this earth what what do you want more than that right oftentimes too like when i'm separate from my divine masculine and I feel the separation or just, you know, the heartache of being away from him. I always remind myself, you know what? As long as he's here walking on this earth and is is here with me, like during this uh, incarnation in this lifetime, I'm like, universe, I'm good. I'm good with that. Like, just let him be happy. And I feel for many of you, that is the case as well. And, you know, that energy is the world card. This is an abundant relationship. And, you know, I feel like for many of you, it's coming, you know, in your life, like almost like this snowball effect. And this like preparedness feeling is coming up for you guys to, you know, rest and celebrate and enjoy what it is you've had to do, the sacrifices that you've had to make. You know, many of you are just sitting down, appreciating life, appreciating the connection, enjoying the world, enjoying things as they unfold. That's the best course of action right now while you guys are going through this heavy period of facing life. It's like, yeah, it's shadow work. Yeah, it's heavy. But, you know, at the end of it, what it is that's important is that you guys are moving towards your desires, right? Your, your truest expression of who it is you are. Otherwise, you're living a life of you know maybe a sense of dishonesty a little bit a, a part of you is hidden there's a part of you that you can't express and when you sit down and you ask yourself why oftentimes what gets the twins moving is they don't want to live for other people right and a message for both of the twins i feel is that you know if you both honestly truly love and care for one another it's okay to move towards each other because the turmoil that you think that you're going to face 
the universe is going to reward you with either ridding those people out of your lives who want to keep you apart from what it is you both want or help to heal and transform their energy because they're not going to want you both out of their lives do you know what i mean like family members and close friends they're gonna have to start realizing wait a second like i love this divine masculine or this divine feminine and if that's what makes them happy then i'm happy with that and they'll also go through their period of having to surrender okay now we had the six of swords here come up as um you know the projection of you know how this is to unfold and, and what's to come and i feel like you know it kind of goes hand in hand here with both of the cards here with surrendering just because the chain around her neck is broken and the six often represents you know perseverance keep going things might seem tough you guys might feel like you're hidden behind the bushes here trying to make love and maybe he ripped that chain off of you to tell you to hurry up divine feminine he's waiting on you you know and it's like you both want to be together but i feel like the energy of the swords is there because you both are still heavy in thought about how to go about achieving this you know th this world card this world energy having it all having this abundant relationship in your life you know both of you have got to face it get out there enjoy the world enjoy the world for what it is be peaceful be loving wish your spouses and your partners the best in life be good parents take care of your health take care of your bodies get out there and get some fresh air you know wake up and take care of your your body your health pay attention to what it is you're eating think good thoughts about people pay attention to whether you have road rage or not uh you know all these little things matter they matter to us guys in terms of bringing this connection together because the universe wants healed love relationships to fuel the planet because healed love relationships create healthy beautiful children who continue to nurture the world nurture the world nurture the world you know there's a lot of changes happening within the world too like especially that message about kids i'll, sh I'll show you guys too what i mean let me show you this book So my sister actually got this book here um, for my son and it's called A New Alphabet for Humanity. And so instead of like, you know, A for Apple or A for Alligator and stuff like that, um, it actually was talking a little bit about, uh, you know, things that we want to teach our, our kids, teach ourselves, new things that we've been learning. You know, A is for abundance. Abundance is knowing that there's enough for you and enough for me. The more I give to others, the more I receive. Isn't that so sweet? Yeah, and I elaborate with my son too. I tell him, you know, just like when I make a garden with Tommy, I give him some of my beets and he gives me some of his carrots and we share. And I think it's so cool. And the other day he um, was telling me that uh, we were talking about the letter M and, and he said M is for mindful. And I was so blown away by that because the book had M for mindfulness. So that's what I mean, guys. Sorry I had to go off there and share that with you there, but I feel like it's an important message for you guys to realize the epitome of your twin flame love. A lot of the crappy stuff that we go through sometimes that's pushing us to make the necessary changes that we need to to come together is often the big stuff that helps to change the world and to change the planet. That's why, you know, some readers might be like, it's not just about the romance, guys, because they've been there, you know, they've been there and they've experienced it and they've had to go through you know, the breakdowns of our our 3D relationships. And you guys are definitely facing a lot, but you definitely want this love together. That's for certain. 